Hey everybody, I'm David with Bolivar Live. Well, it's time for our insurance talk with Priest Insurance, but we're going to get off the topic a little bit of insurance. Um, this is a pre-recorded show. Um, we're on the beach. Um, it's actually, I think, April 11th, so it I don't is. know when y'all will see this. But last night, Dan and I had the pleasure of going to the... Bolivar Chamber of Commerce Awards Banquet. And uh, if you weren't there, you should have been there to hear some of the people talk as they were getting ready to uh, give give out awards. Um, Randy Martin, uh, <laughs> I think he had a little politician in him last night because he got a little long-winded and you could see everyone up there trying to hurry him along, but he brought up some stuff and he had a phrase. Uh, Lance Bradley and you and I were just talking about this, talked about some of the old places down mm -hmm. here, the old Crystal Beach, the old Bolivar. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that because I'm here with Dan Priest and he, he's been down here, what, 40, two years? Uh, my parents bought a house down here in 72 and, and we're still on the same property. Still on the same property. And you were naming off the Lighthouse Grill. The Gaslight. The Gaslight. Gas light yeah. And Zeb's. Mm -hmm. And I know I ate at a couple times. There was a fire station restaurant down by Rollover Pass. Oh, God, that was a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And the old OK Corral. I love their hamburgers and their corn dogs. And yeah. you got one package of mustard. If you wanted more, you had to buy it from them. So yeah. there's a lot of history down here, and it was good history. It was and is. So what do you remember about those places? Oh, um, <laughs> I remember... Because I didn't go to the Gaslight. I'm, the Gaslight had fabulous gumbo. That's what I remember about the Gaslight. Did you? Yeah, it was a little A-frame building, and it just... I remember we would go in from... We'd go shrimping, and we'd come back in there, and we'd it'd be cold, and we'd go into the Gaslight and have a good old bowl of gumbo. It was great, and... Um, other restaurants, Kobe's was... Uh, yeah, I remember Kobe's and ate there. And yeah. it was it was, it was, was sort of like Cheers. You had the, <laughs> the same people that sat around the bar, you know, every day. Uh, at a certain time, they'd be in there. Well, there was also Deku's. Mm -hmm. That was uh, a, really, I, I think that was a lot like that. I love going there for breakfast. Uh, it was a lot of, good, lot of good places. OK's, there was a guy that's not with us anymore, O'Kelly. Uh, yeah. used to work on some boats down here, but as a young man, his family had O.K.'s, and he would work there flipping burgers in the past. And and I love, man, like I said, I <laughs> love burger. their burgers and their corn dogs. Oh, and they were just regular old store-bought corn dogs, mm -hmm. but they were, the way they fried them was unbelievable. Yeah. It was, you know, Zeb's. Remember Zeb's? I See, that was, and I've been down here 20-some years. Mm -hmm. uh, guiding 15, 18 years guiding, and then uh, I went on a hyenas and, of just a little bit of everything, and then uh, Brad came to me, and that's the reason we started what I've got now. So, you Stinger is another one that's been around forever. Uh, Zeb's was, you know, it, there is a, a place where the post office was, and I, it's by a uh, RV park now. It's Green Building, uh -huh. and that's where Zeb started. Okay, or, that's yeah, where the no, artist was. No, no, no. I think I think actually Zeb's was in where the kite building is. Okay, pretty sure that's where it was, and um, and then it moved over to Crystal Beach Community Church and became Zeb's Crab Shack, and they had the best shrimp po' boys ever. It was just full of shrimp. Uh, it was super. Well, in one of my places, <laughs> right before Ike, that I went lot, a lot was Bob's Sports Bar. Bob's, yep. The muflot muflot they had, mm -hmm. but. They always had the big red glasses of iced tea, and I'd come in <laughs> off a trip. Brian and I'd go up there, uh, Tally, and we'd eat. Wow, Brian Tally. And uh, I remember they'd call me every once in a while and say, hey, Dave, we we're running low on red glasses. Can you bring them back? And I'd, Can you bring them Because I'd walk out with my tea, you know, a fresh glass of tea, and they'd call me, bring a glass, and I'd bring them back 15 or 20 glasses that I had at my house. They were washed and everything. They'd rewash <laughs> them good and to go know. ahead. So. Well, you know, you, aren't you, you do some stuff with Mike Gilbert at Latitudes. They're doing yeah. a great job there, or a uh, surf shop. And, well, that was a grocery store at one time. Oh, the, really? It was the Sand Dollar Grocery. And as a kid, I remember we, that was a weekly run. It made it easy. I'm, you know, right on Yeah, right there right on the there. corner. So run up there and then became a teenager, and they had a little... Uh, an outdoor 
bar live band area that they just allowed us to come and sit at and we go listen to music there was a lot going on there was a putt putt place uh down gosh like near boyt road i believe is where it was i don't, I don't remember wiki wiki that. putt putt I don't remember that. <laughs> you know, Ike, a lot of it was closed down by the time Ike got here, but mm -hmm. then Ike washed away a lot of the remnants of it if it was still there. And, you know, Bolivar's come back with with great force. I mean, the businesses, in fact, FEMA did a study why Bolivar came back, and it was because of the businesses. You know, it, it's the businesses and it's the beach. I mean, look in front of you today. Yeah. So I, I, like I said, we've been down here a long time. A lot of people have been down here a long time. And I see all this beautiful new build, right? Uh -huh. But I love looking at what's still here. To me, a day like this looks just like it did in 1980. It's, yeah. this, it's the same beach. That, that hasn't changed. There's a lot of the old part of Bolivar that's deep in my heart yeah. that's here. There's stuff down in, in Bolivar. Uh, Joe's Bolivar. Crabs, uh, Milts is still here, Stingery's still here. Um, too much to mention. Yeah. And a lot of the old structures. Remember Marsh's Takeout Junction? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, right up yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. just a lot of those buildings are still around. You know, if you go online, and Lance said this last night, that he went in and Googled a bunch of stuff mm -hmm. uh, to find out about Bolivar, you can still see a lot of the old Bolivar, you know, uh, online from old pictures and yeah. stuff and i've done i did it whenever we started this and i did it about bolivar history um about the the pirates and the indians mm -hmm. and you know treasures that were sp supposed to be here and <laughs> you know it's it's neat to go on there and that's the good part about google what you can do there is a we actually have a picture in the house from i'll show it to you sometime from about, uh, it's gotta be about 1975. And the reason uh -huh. I say that it's an aerial picture and it's of the zoo. And you know, it's so funny. It's not it, there anymore, not like it used to be. It looks exactly like Did it, it. Yeah, the only difference in that picture were maybe the bathing suits. <laughs> And, and the hairdos. And the, the hairdos and the age of the cars. But there's still cars jammed up yeah. left and right. It's just a newer year model. Different, different bathing people, suit, different, different people. Bathing suit. Yeah. Probably less bathing suit than used to be. <laughs> I wouldn't know, David. I don't know. Well, we were looking for things to do on this trip and on this show, and we were. I was talking about you know last night and some of the history that was talked about. Ann Willis got an astounding award. She did. Uh, uh, Tim Byram got an award because he's been down here so long. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the awards that were given out are, are well-deserved, and it was a great, the food was good, it was at Jose's, uh, the company was good. Uh, Keith invited me, and I accepted, and it was great to see everyone, because a lot of people, you don't see them now because everyone's so busy, and that was, when I walked in about 545, it was packed. It was a nice evening know? of representing Bolivar. Yeah, representing Bolivar, and so, I uh, want to thank Keith for let, inviting me down and everyone that I talked to there. And I didn't have a visor on there, and that was the biggest comment I got was, David, we've never seen you without a visor. So, had, oh, And shoes. And I had shoes and blue <laughs> jeans on, too. So well, we're going to head on out. We've got some more recordings to do, and Dan needs to get back to the office and take care of his customers probably. So. You know, we do this show every Tuesday, <coughs> excuse me, at 4 p.m., where we talk, typically talk insurance, uh, some aspect of it. And you can see it on our BolivarLiveTV.com. You can see it on our social media channels, but it's every Tuesday, and it's always with Dan Priest. We're going to head on out. Hope you enjoyed the show. Until next time, a little Bolivar history. All right. Y'all have a great day, great week. Come see us. God bless, and bye-bye. Priest Insurance Agency has been located in the heart of Lumberton, Texas since 2001, providing a consultative approach and educating customers on how their insurance works for them throughout the coastal region of Texas. Priest Insurance specializes in the coastal region of Texas covering home, auto, business, and recreational insurance. With ties to the coastal communities, Dan Priest has had the sand between his toes since 1972 with a home on Bolivar Peninsula in Galveston County. 
He survived a storm named Ike, but lost his home. With insurance coverage, his family was able to rebuild following the 2008 storm and continues to make memories beachfront. Priest Insurance specializes in the coastal communities, family dwellings, investment property, and business insurance. They've been there. Whether you're looking for or have a family retreat along the Texas coast, investment property, or a business, Priest Insurance would be honored to work with you and your family to make sure you're covered anytime trouble arises. For more information on Priest Insurance and their contact information, please visit their website at www.priestinsuranceagency.com or their office is open for phone calls with questions and consultation Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. by calling 409-755-7600. Priest Insurance Agency working and educating customers, making sure they understand and have the coverage they deserve. 